Okay, everyone. So for today's assignment, this week's assignment, we're actually going to be able to get into the DRL simulator and build our own drone. Okay. So if you, once you get into the simulator here, you see our main menu where you're going to want to go is over here to the uh, workbench. Okay. Um, so I'll click on that and, and actually doing this with a mouse is probably a lot easier um, than navigating and moving around with your remote. So if you have a mouse or your trackpad, then use that. And so here we're going, you see I already have one here uh, that I made earlier. And uh, I'm actually gonna share this in the class, so check it out if you can. Um, you can, uh, you have the ability to actually, after you've built it, to actually fly it around, okay? Um, you can go back in and edit it as well. But uh, if it's your first time we're gonna go in, we're gonna make a new drone. So we'll click on that. And now you can kind of select from the different size drones that you want to start with. And this is just kind of where you, you'll start with. Um, I'm actually going to try, uh, let's see. Um, I'll start in the four inch size here. I'll go over and uh, I'll grab the tweaker five inch. Actually, yeah, I'll step it to the five inch one. So probably the first thing you want to do is uh, name your drone. Uh, uh, and I'll just go with tweaker. 3000 <laughs> you can make it public or private so that other people can can see your drone um, maybe start around start off with it and so it, you can see you can move around here and get some different angles on uh the drone which is pretty cool so it's like you're actually there and you actually have it on your workbench right so you can zoom in and out as well okay so um so all i want you to do is actually just go through and start to customize your drone as you can see, all of your selections are up here. All, everything you can customize is up here at the top. Um, so just take take uh, take your time and step through all of the different selections here. Uh, so let's go to uh, frame. So we've already really selected our frame, so we don't need to do that. Um, so let's go over to motors. Uh, now you see it zooms in here and see different motors you can select. So I'll select, and as you select it, it changes it, okay, for you, all right? So you can, Kind of see how it looks a little bit different. Okay, so I'll leave those there. Um, and then I'll, I'm gonna go to my props, which is short for propellers. Um, now here you can kind of see if you select the the uh, the two the two blade props right here. You can get see what that looks like. Um, I actually like these right here. These are pretty cool. Um, but just you can tinker around with different uh, propeller styles. Um, you see they have quite a few. There's a four blade prop right there. Um, and it's really just a, a matter of opinion, uh, at least at this stage. Uh, different prop size props will give you different performance, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Just really, just want you to focus on what looks cool to you, okay? So I'm gonna back out here a little bit. Um, and then uh, LiPo's is actually your battery. So here's the battery pack right here. Um, let me, let me actually turn on my, my cursor. Okay. So here's our battery pack back here. Okay. And so you have your different size batteries, uh, 4S, 5S, and that's really, uh, we won't get into that, but you see the amperage here, milliamps here, um, milliamp hours, which is really a, a rating for, uh, the power and also how long the batteries will last, um, so the 5S is, is it will give you more power quickly. Um, so if you're really planning to punch your drone or push it real hard, you probably want to go with a 5S battery. So as I selected, you'll see them swap out here on the drone. Okay. So I'm just gonna grab one just just to grab it. Then you can go to extras, uh, change the camera. This is a GoPro here, or we can go back to the to the one we had. I'm actually gonna keep it here. Um, if you go to the styling now, this is where you can kind of get into some of the uh, more custom coloring schemes uh, and you see there on the frame it does most of that. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to go with here? And you can choose uh, by country. And it styles it accordingly. So we're actually just gonna come back out and um, I'm gonna go with none, I'm gonna keep mine simple, okay? And then you can go back into the color selection here. 
Uh, now, the pilot trails, when you're flying, what color do you want your trail to be? Okay, I actually, since I have a mostly red drone, I'm gonna keep mine red. I want my propellers to stay red as well, uh, but you can change the colors here and you see how that, how that changes the look of your drone, okay? Um, and then you can get into some of the other details here. Uh, the camera here. In each drone, the details will, will color something differently, but I guess on this one, it's the camera and uh, some of the accent colors as well. So again, I'll keep my back at red and then uh, details too, okay. So it does, this one actually has two cameras here, okay. So this FPV camera is usually the one you use for flying and usually the one up here is the one you use for recording uh, your flying, okay. So that you have it a clearer picture for after the fact, okay. Um, let's see, I'm gonna tinker around with some of this. Um, so I'll go with that, okay? And now if you wanna, so as far as part of your assignment, after you have customized your drone, I want you to take a screenshot of it. Um, I forget what a screenshot is on a PC, but on a Mac, is command, shift, and the number three. So if you press all of those buttons at the same time, it'll take a screenshot and then you can post it or save that screenshot, or, um, put it into like a Word document or paste it somewhere and then save it and then you can upload it. So take a screenshot of your, which I'll do right now. And you hear the little camera uh, sound. Take a screenshot and post it underneath this video as your assignment. Um, tell us maybe a little bit why you chose some of the color schemes that you decided on, uh, your propellers and so forth, and uh, that's your assignment. So this gives you an opportunity to mess around a little bit with your drone design, uh, get on the workbench, so to speak, and uh, and then share that with uh, your, your your classmates here in the DRL Academy. Remember to take a screenshot um, and post it here on the website.